the uh, mash pairs t test is really simple. All we're going to do is calculate the sample difference of means and subtract that from the difference of means under the null hypothesis, which is usually going to be zero. Usually our null hypothesis is to assume that the two variables are equal. Sometimes we're going to have some other assumption, like some known difference between those two variables, and we want to see if it's different to that known difference. But usually, lambda zero is going to equal zero. Um, and then we're going to do, so we're going to look at the difference between the observed average difference to the expected average difference, and divide by the standard error of the differences. The standard error of the differences is simply the standard, uh, the standard deviation of the d statistic divided by root n. So remember, this d statistic is this. It's the difference between each xi and yi. So if we can create this variable, the di's, all we have to do is find the standard deviation of this new variable, and that's s sub d. So s sub d is, look at the formula here, the square root of the sum of the squared deviances squared, sorry, the sum of the squared deviances over n minus 1. That's exactly the same as the standard deviation, uh, that's, the, that's the standard deviation formula, but we're applying it instead of to one of the x's or the y's, we're applying that standard deviation formula to this new variable di. And this standard deviation formula can be applied directly. That's the traditional standard deviation formula. When we're dealing with a data table, we're actually, it's actually somewhat easier, not necessarily, but someone, somewhat easier to apply this formula instead. And these two formulas turn out to be equal, but you'll see that, that doing this involves fewer numbers of calculations in comparison to doing that. So this is going to be faster, say, in a test situation. You want to apply this formula. And we'll do some examples uh, now. In the matched pairs test, we're going to um, uh, have a null hypothesis that the population difference of means is equal to some value. And like I said, this thing is often zero. So often we are going to assume that there's no difference between the two variables. And the alternative hypothesis is just that there is a difference between the two variables. So again, we can have a non-directional cases. So this is the two-tailed test, non-directional. Then we can have two directional cases, that the difference is actually greater than this hypothesized difference. So maybe the difference is greater than zero, or the difference is less than zero.